Hey everybody, it's Mary Dalba from marydalba.com here to, you, to talk to you about the new moon in Cancer. Um, and it's happening on Friday, July 9th at 9.17 p.m. Eastern time. So what is the new moon in Cancer? Why do we care about that? Well, new moons are all about new beginnings. It's a fresh energetic start. Um, you can clear out the old energy from the past month, things that have been happening and create some new energy and new wishes and desires for this month under the sign of cancer. Now, the moon rules cancer. So cancer loves to be around the moon and um, they're you know at their highest power. So what's, what's really great is, is that you can create wishes that are gonna be really potent this month. Now, what kind of wishes can I create? You may ask. Cancer is the sign of um, security, protection, the home, where you feel your home is. Um, it's um, sensitivity, intuition, it's the mothering and nurturing side of things. Um, so cancer is very sensitive. And if you think about cancer, the representation of cancer in astrology is the crab. And when the crab is very sensitive or gets hurt, they'll crawl right back into their shell. So you might notice that from cancers that, you know, they just sometimes go into self-preservation and protection. But for us with the new moon and cancer, we can create wishes and desires around that type of energy. So if you're thinking about how can I feel more secure, how can I create my home to feel more like a peaceful place? How can I increase my intuition? How can I be more nurtured or how can I nurture people even more? This is the moon that you want to work with for new moon energy and creating those wishes. So one thing to keep in mind is that you're creating wishes for um, the next 30 days. But what's really important to remember, and sometimes people don't talk about, is that really where you'll see the accumulation or the outcome of the wishes that you're making today happen is when the full moon happens in the sign of cancer. So the full moon in cancer will happen on January 17th, 2022. And that means it's going to be about six months before the full moon in Cancer happens. Now, granted, we're going to have a full moon um, in Aquarius in a few weeks, but you want to think about the wishes that you're making today around that sign of Cancer. You're going to see them grow over the next six months and see the accumulation on January 17th, 2022. So you can think of short-term goals. You can also think of long-term goals. And what you really want to do with this um, as I mentioned in the last video of full moon and Capricorn, I was going to explain how to make new moon wishes. So you want to sit down with a piece of paper um, and you want to have pen in hand. I don't like to do new moon wishes on the computer. There's something about sitting and thinking um, and having that energy go into the pen and go onto the paper from your hand that just makes it much more magical and makes those wishes more potent. So I would definitely suggest if you can to write them down. Um, and you can make it really pretty paper if you want. You can just new, use a notebook paper. It's, it's up to you. What's really important is the wishes. And so you can say, I wish for, I desire, and then whatever your wish is. And again, think of that theme. Think about the cancer theme, the sensitivity, the emotions, the nurturing, um, the growth in that, um, your intuition, again, your home, and where you feel safe and where you feel protected and nurtured. And a lot of homes feel like that. You know, you have your favorite room in your home. So you can speak to that through your wishes. And then what you want to do, what a lot of people do, and what I even do is I have them in a notebook. Um, so I use the same notebook for my new moon wishes. And I'll go back and look at the wishes that I wrote down. I'll date it and look at it. And then just think about ways that I can achieve those goals too. Because part of manifestation and sending our intentions out to the universe is also to be part of that process and to create things too. So the universe is gonna open doors for us, but we also have to take those opportunities and run with them. So that's a great place to keep them. Take some time to look at them every once in a while. Um, I know some folks that look at them every morning um, and then just jot down some notes and see what happens in six months from now. It can absolutely surprise you. There's people that I know myself included that just, you know, I've written down three wishes and in six months, I've checked them all off. They've come true. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. But remember, at new moon in Cancer, there's going to be a sensitivity. So um, if people are a little emotional, a little sensitive over the next couple of days, 
just kind of ride with it. Um, or you may just be feeling and processing emotions over the next couple of days and that's okay too. Something else that's really important. Um, with new moon wishes, you can do them up to two days after the new moon itself. So if you have to do it on Saturday, July 10th, or even Sunday, July 11th, that's okay too. Um, but just try to get them done as soon as you can and see how, how it feels to you and how it works. So good luck with that. If you want to let me know how it's going, you can reach me at mary at marydalba.com, M-A-R-Y-D-A-L-B-A. -A -A. If you want to learn more about your astrology, you can book an appointment with me or sign up for my newsletter on my site. So I hope to see you again soon. And if you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy your new moon. <laughs>